Hello everyone, this is Ron and I'm back with you with another episode of Empire Coins and Collectibles. I hope this episode finds you well and out there looking, of course, because if you're not looking, you're not finding. And that's what coin collectors do. We're always on the hunt. You never know what we're going to come across. And I have a surprise here for you. It was for me at least, but we'll get into it in just a moment. If you could please like, share, and subscribe, ring that bell and you'll get a notice every time we upload a new video. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna change the camera and go to the desktop camera, and you're gonna see something you've already seen before. So here we are. You have already seen this 1960D doubled die averse MS60 red Lincoln scent. It's a beauty. Wow, it really is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the scene. I'm going to put it under the coin microscope to refresh what it was that was so interesting about this. Whoops, I went to the wrong camera. Pardon me. Technical difficulties because good help is hard to find. So here is the Lincoln scent that has that double die on it that you've seen before. Let me bring it back into focus here. And so you can see all this doubling right here on the six and the nine. And you can see that D above the normal D right here. And then you have a small date over a large date right there. So this is a beauty. Although the descriptors on this is not fully delineated because it just says it's a double die averse MS60, 75% red. The PCI uh, certification. So there's more to this coin than just a doubled die because we've already said it has a D over D and we can see that quite well. And we can see the uh, small date over the large date. So I'm going to send it into Annex and have that re-looked at and have them certify it. Uh, so but that's not the interesting thing. I showed this to go back to the desk camera to show you a different one. So let me go to the desk camera again. All right. And here it is. This one says it is a 1960 D small over large date D over D. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? But they missed the boat. PCI did. So now I'm going to flash back to the uh, coin under the microscope. There's the one that we've already seen in the previous episode or two. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to put in this one right here. This is the one that was just marked 1960, small date over large date, D over D. But look at this. It is a doubled die. Can you see it? It has the same type of feature with the two tips on the six and the tip down here on the nine. And of course it has that D over D right above that D right there. So this is a tremendous find for me. I think I paid maybe, I don't know, 15, $20 uh, for this PCI graded coin. And I was thrilled to have it because, you know, it was a, a, one of the early 60 Lincoln cents and it had some special features about it. But when I put it under the microscope to check it further, I, I was surprised to see that it has the same features as the doubled die, which we already have shown. I'm going to put that one back in there. Here's the one that is marked doubled die, right? And look at this six there. And you can see the same features on the nine. And you can see the small date over the large date, especially on the uh, zero. And then you can see the D above and a little to the east of the D that's in the foreground. So this is one that is just simply marked as a double die, and we'll get that fully delineated when we send it into Annex. But here's the other one 
it is only marked as a small date over large date, D over D. But when you look at it, it has the same features as the doubled die that is in the previous graded coin that I showed you. And I'm losing toothpicks. I don't know where they're going. But let me, whoops, let me bring that back into view. But you can see this right here about midway down that inside arc of the upper part of the six. You can see that doubling right there. Then you can see the doubling on the tip of the six. And then you can see on the back arch of the nine, this is definitely the same as the doubled die averse coin that we just saw. At the one that was graded MS60 by PCI. Now, this is a PCI graded coin, but for some reason, one of two things really had to have happened. I'm going to raise this up a bit so we can bring it back into focus. One of two things had to happen. Now, coin companies are in business to make, our coin grading services are in the business to make money, right? So you're going to pay the coin grading service to grade your coin to know, is it an MS60? Is it an MS65? Is it an AU50? You're going to pay them for that. And you may not pay them for the other variety identification. That costs extra. So on this one, they probably said, we want it graded and we want to confirm that it's a small date over large date, D over D. And that is a lot cheaper than having them them to do a full variety check. And had they done the full variety check and paid the money for it, they might have seen that this is a D over, excuse me, a double die averse. I'm going to bring it back down again so you can see it. So that's one thing that could have happened. The other thing that could have happened is, hey, see, I missed it. Uh, and I can't believe that, you know because it's so blatant in your face. So I will package these up with the other order that I'm getting ready to submit to Annex, and I'm going to have them cross over, hopefully we'll cross over the 1960D that's been rated as an MS60, or I'll just have them bust them out of the housing, the PCI coin slab, and regrade it and slab it in both of them in an annex, but I'm going to specify to them that I want the, a full attribution of the coins so that both of them come back as a doubled die averse rather than just the one small date over large date D over D. How about that for a treasure? I bought it, but I didn't know I had it. That's uh, all goodness for me. So that just goes to show you if you're not out there looking, you're not finding. And that's what all coin collectors should be doing. All right, my friends, that's it. You take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next ECC video. All the best.